Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's that time again, another Monster Monday for the holiday season. Because I just read about this discovery of a massive head of a huge prehistoric reptile found in a cliff in Southern England. And once again, this discovery was made by an amateur, just regular people like you and I just making casual groundbreaking discoveries. So let's dive into the story, which actually started back in 2022, but was only recently revealed to the public. So a local man, one Phil Jacobs, was out for a stroll in April of 2022 on a beach on the aptly named Jurassic Coast, a World Heritage site just off the English Channel. And on this stroll, he saw something had fallen off a cliff shingle near Kimmeridge Bay. And what he saw turned out to be the tip of a snout of a pliosaur, an ocean-dwelling carnivorous marine reptile that lived millions of years ago. But it turns out our friend Phil is a bit of an amateur fossil enthusiast, and he is friends with an actual paleontologist, a man named Steve Etches. Etches began collecting fossils from the Kimmeridge clay more than 40 years ago and operates a museum of Jurassic marine life in the local village. So when Phil finds this thing, he marks it with a piece of wood and goes to get Steve. And when he returns, with his help and a lot of careful work, the two make a makeshift stretcher and transport the snout over a mile and a half on this stretcher over rocky shore. And I can only imagine anyone seeing these guys along the way carrying this stretcher and they're like, no, no, we're fine. No one's hurt. It's just a, just a snout prehistoric snout. And over the course of a few weeks, the full skull was eventually found. And this pliosaur skull is six and a half feet long, just the skull, and is described by paleontologists as one of the most complete specimens of its type ever discovered. The discovery was initially reported by the BBC and will be featured in an upcoming documentary starring your friend and mine, David Attenborough. I actually read that the documentary will air in the US on PBS on February 14th of next year, so mark your calendars. But according to Newsweek, this is the most complete fossil ever discovered of a gigantic sea monster that lived over 150 million years ago and is described by Etches as an underwater T-Rex. And just as big, its length stretched from 10 to 16 meters long, or 33 to 50 feet. Etches said the lower jaw and the upper skull are meshed together as they would be in life. Worldwide, there's hardly any specimens ever found to that level of detail. And if they are, a lot of the bits are missing. Whereas this, although it's slightly distorted, it's got every bone present and all of its teeth 130 of them. These teeth were so razor sharp they could kill with a single bite. The back of each tooth contains fine ridges, which is said to help the pliosaur tear into flesh. Man, nature is tough. After the skull was found, more excavation was done and cleanup was concluded in August of 2022. And they used a drone to scan the cliff to see where the rest of the pliosaur might be. Stephen Brousset, a professor of paleontology and evolution at the University of Edinburgh, said, This is a fantastic new discovery and surely one of the most evocative British fossil reptiles discovered in years. The skull is so gorgeously preserved that I am in awe. Brousset said, this is one of those discoveries that all fossil hunters dream about. And to think that it was collected from the middle of a cliff face by paleontologists hanging from ropes, hanging over the choppy waves of the sea as they dug. It's a remarkable story and an amazing fossil. Paul Sereno, a professor of paleontology at the University of Chicago, said that the pliosaur is a reptile cousin to the dinosaurs, namely a closer cousin to the plesiosaur. This creature was so big and strong that it could dine on anything slow enough to enter its massive jaws, probably including rare water-bathing dinosaurs. According to Ohio University Paleontology Research Associate DJ Morgan, finding a skull of this size that still retains its three-dimensionality of the animal's skull during life is incredible. From an anatomical, physiological perspective, the Dorset pliosaur skull could hold a treasure trove of information, Morgan told Newsweek. This includes information about the thermal physiology of these animals, how they obtain food and adaptations that allow these large organisms to flourish in their environment. The biological information that this specimen could provide will help advance our understanding of pliosaur anatomy, physiology, and ecology. This fossil highlights the importance for us to keep searching 
for fossils. The drone survey of the cliff showed that the rest of the pliosaur is probably still there, but it would require rigorous excavation, including a lot of manpower, ropes, and a lot of resources. Etcha said that it would be costly and involve permission from government bodies. But this is where Attenborough and his documentary come in. Etcha said, when David Attenborough was involved, everyone's interested. That name is synonymous with worldwide interest because of his fame, so getting him on board is a big feather in our cap. We're going to have a worldwide appeal to interested parties for science. It is to the benefit of science to extract that and to give us a tremendous amount of new information that we previously didn't know. And what's interesting is how many fossil sites there are in Dorset and on the East Devon coast. Their cliff exposure spans the Mesozoic era, which represents represents 185 million years of Earth's history, according to UNESCO. And they've been finding fossils there for nearly 300 years. Etches plans to showcase the skull in his museum in Kimmeridge, and is hoping to explore further excavation of the rest of the Pliosaur in 2024. Because we all know where things like this really belong. It belongs in a museum! So do you! Okay guys, that's it for now. I thought this was just such an interesting story in terms of the how and the what. I'm happy for Steve and I hope to one day see his skull in his museum. I think I just added another stop on my bucket list. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you, come on hair, in the next video. <laughs>